derive Cauchy's uh, Riemann equation in Cartesian form. Like you can also define that CR uh, equation in Cartesian form as theorem. So as a theorem, we have to prove the uh, CR equation satisfies the Cartesian form. So the statement is the necessary condition that a single valued function w is equal to f of this is equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y is analytic at point z that x uh, that is equal to x plus i y then there exists uh, four continuous first order partial derivatives that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y and this uh, partial derivative must satisfy the CR equation that is the CR equations in Cartesian form like uh, if we say uh, f of z is analytic at point z then there exists four continuous first order partial derivatives that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x dou v by dou y and these four equations derivatives to satisfy the CR equation that is dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y dou v by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y and this is the CR equations uh, you have to prove it. If f of z is analytic at z, then by the definition of analytic function. This is the definition of analytic function. f dash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0. f of z plus delta z minus f of z divided by delta z. It exists and is unique. This is the this is the definition of analytic function. In Cartesian form, we define f of z as and uh, f of z as uh, u uh, u x comma y plus i v x comma y. If of, we define f of z as u x comma y plus i v x comma y. If we add the extension f of z plus delta z, f of z is u x comma y plus i v x comma y. And f of z plus delta z is u x plus delta x y plus delta y i v x plus delta x y plus delta y. You know, we have to add the extension delta x delta y in place of x and y. As delta z is increment in z, therefore uh, delta z x and delta z y are incrementing x and y respectively. So if f of z is this one, if we add delta z to that, we get uh, x plus delta, delta x also delta y extension of x and y respectively. Now the equation here becomes, we have to substitute the z plus delta x and f of z in equation here. So the equation becomes u x plus delta x plus y plus delta y and the minus of uh, f of uh, Z. And we have to substitute and we get this answer and we have to separate the real and imaginary parts f dash of z is equal to limit delta z tends to 0 this is the real part and this is the imaginary part this is the real part and this is the imaginary part so u x plus delta x comma y plus delta y minus u of x comma y this is the real part plus i limit tends to delta z tends to 0 x plus delta x plus comma y plus delta y plus v x comma y is the imaginary part we separate after substituting we separate real and imaginary part now we can write delta z as z plus delta z minus z minus z where z is x plus i y and z plus delta z is extension of that delta z extension of x delta x y delta y x plus delta x plus i delta y is equal to if we got this we have to substitute delta z is equal to x plus delta x delta z delta z is equal to x plus delta, uh, delta x plus i y plus delta y minus x plus i y we have to substitute this um, delta z is equal to x plus delta x this is uh, on simplification plus x minus x cancel 
plus i y minus i y get cancelled so we have delta x uh, plus i delta y since delta z will be tends to 0 if delta z is 0 then uh, delta x will be 0 delta x can be 0 and delta y can also be 0 so if we delta z tends to 0 you know, by definition of analytic function then we have two possibilities that is delta y tends to 0 and delta x tends to 0 case we will consider delta y tends to 0 in equation b so now uh, if delta z tends to delta y tends to 0 then delta z is equal to delta x delta z is equal to delta x as delta z is tending to 0 delta x is also can also tend to 0 so now equation 1 becomes equation 1 equation separation of real and imaginary part equation 1 becomes f dash of z limit delta z was there we will uh, replace it by the uh, sorry delta z was there we will replace it by delta x tends to 0 equation 1 becomes equation 1 will remain the same wherever we have delta z we will substitute delta x there delta x these limits are the basic derivatives of u and v with respect to x so these are the basic derivatives or uh, basic derivatives of uh, u and v with respect to x so this becomes these limits are the basic derivatives of u and v with respect to x so f dash of z becomes delta u by delta x plus i delta v by delta x so, case 2 delta y tends to 0 delta y if delta z tends to 0 x is x can be 0 and y can be 0 delta y tends to y tends to 0 we have uh, got the equation now delta x tends to 0 if delta x tends to 0 if delta x is equal to 0 delta z is equal to i delta y and if delta y direct tends to 0 then i delta y also tends to 0 so we will substitute uh, i delta y in place of delta z so the equation 1 becomes i delta y and i delta y everything remains the same if delta z tends to 0 this i is the extra thing and i i get cancels in equation 1 so if we send this i to numerator it becomes minus i these limits are the basic derivatives of partial der basic der derivatives of partial functions u and v so in this now uh, i is sent up so it becomes minus i so these are the basic der these limits are the basic derivatives of u and v with respect to y so delta u by delta y plus delta v by minus i delta u by delta y plus delta v by delta y so we have dash of z becomes this thing delta we have simplified this on equation on equating equation 2 and 3 on equating equation 2 and 3 equating 2 and 3 delta u by delta x plus i delta v by delta y so we have to equate real parts and imaginary part so after equating real and imaginary part we will get the CR equations um, so this is the CR equations and those partial for first order derivatives that is how the CR equation in Cartesian form